I'm Carrie Higgins. I'm a double diamond with It Works, and we're going to talk a little bit about Facebook advertising and how to do some different stuff on Facebook. So follow along. You'll have some questions asked in the middle of it, and just uh, listen along see if you can learn something. So the first thing we're going to talk about right now is how do you put a friend into a specific group? So when you have somebody that comes to your page and they like you, how do you actually put them into a category? So this is what we're going to do. Up here on the top of your Facebook, you see two little people. What that means is somebody has sent you a friend request, and that will be highlighted to where you can scroll down and you can confirm, or you can choose to do this later. Well, we just confirmed Patty. So let's play with Patty for a minute, and we clicked confirm, which takes us to this friend title. If you click on this friend title, you'll have this drop down list to where you can add them to different places. So let's say Patty's a family member. You can put her in the family member. Let's say you went to high school with Patty, you can put her in a high school category. You worked a different job with her, she's an acquaintance, whatever. Well, Patty is an It Works person, so she's with us on our team. We're going to add her to the It Works Global category. Starts, first time you start setting all this stuff up, it will walk you through it. So it's, it's self-explanatory, read and follow along. When you're adding to a smart list, they're going to suggest that you update your profile. For example, Patty will receive a suggestion that she was added to the It Works Global profile for the work section. She can choose rather than to accept this or to ignore this. Great. That means that she's going to learn with you and she'll build her list at the same time as you do. So that's great with your downline. So you're going to add her to the list. She's going to get that. She can come back and confirm that later. Now another thing that you can do though, as you're doing this with Patty, is you can decide how you're going to subscribe to her feeds. So by doing that, you go into... Right here you can decide how many notifications you're going to get to her. You can actually put a number. Let's say I don't want to read more than three of her posts today. You can type in three. Um, you do that by going into settings. And then you can also choose if you're only going to read her important updates. If you're going to read all of her updates. How many, like I just said, how many. You can choose, you never want anybody's games. Everybody plays games in boring moments on Facebook. You don't want to read about them though. So unclick there. Uh, music and videos. You don't need to know about if they like Lady Gaga or not. Don't, doesn't matter. Take it away. Uh, life events. Well, you know, do you want to know if Patty's daughter's getting married? Do you want to, you know, I mean, business is business, so I say limit it and keep it all in a small little box so that you can be more specific. So I take away that. I do keep status updates. I do keep photos. If she posts a before and after photo, I certainly want to know about it since I'm her upline. Comments and likes, I do keep that checked because let's say Patty posts a before and after picture and Wilma over here sees it and holy cow, she's so interested. She's on fire. She wants to know about it, but guess what? Patty's out of town. So is her upline. Now you can read that too. So you can step in for Patty and say, hey, Wilma, Patty's out of town right now, but she's going to be back in a week. Excellent way to stay in touch. So that's how you can do that.